In this video we'll show you how to uh, open and import a DXF drawing into the Partmaster CAD system. So from the desktop I've started uh, Partmaster CAD and from the uh, start menu I'm going to choose open a DXF drawing. So we need to find the DXF drawing. I'll choose this one. Okay, so uh, when we import a uh, DXF drawing, the most important thing is to set the units. The DXF file doesn't contain any information about what units are being used, so you need to know the units that the drawing was created in when you import it. The next set of options are to do with a drawing template. A template is a drawing that's been created that could have a drawing border on it, it could have a title block and so on. So if you want to place the DXF file onto an existing Partmaster template then this is where you would do it and the options are you can center the drawing onto the paper and you can apply the template and you can browse for template files. Uh, the layers and colors, these tick boxes here, allow you to set the uh, information about layers. The next set of options uh, are fairly self-explanatory. Polylines are converted to lines and arcs. Uh, a polyline spline can be converted to a fitted curve. And the information within a DXF file may contain uh, information about the limits or extents so if it does then you can use this box here. Um, blocks can be expanded or exploded uh, into individual um, line arc segments and so on and the last thing is that uh, sometimes arcs are in a particular format so you may have to use this option here if um, if you have problems with arcs. Okay, so that's the uh, main information that you need to set uh, is about the units. The rest of the options here you can pretty much leave the defaults as they are and then see how you get on. One thing about DXF files is that there are various formats and various flavors that have developed over the years um, and if you have the opportunity you should get the DXF files in AutoCAD release 12 format. Okay so that's imported the DXF file there and we can use the normal CAD functions to display the drawing and to perform other tasks. Uh, if the drawing size is not as you want it to be then you can set it using view properties and you can set a drawing size based on the um, sizes that uh, you know or if you don't know then you can use the option to resize the paper to fit the drawing so regardless of the sizes the paper will automatically resize for that. Okay so that's where you set up your um, paper size. If you want to change the units at any time then this is where you can do it here. But of course what that won't do is it won't change the units of the already imported file. You can put a dimension on in millimeters or inches but the underlying units will remain as they were when the DXF file was imported. So you need to be aware of that. Okay that's the end of this little video.